bit by bit, I'm able to build a 3D picture. I can see how well alligators design these dwellings to last throughout the winter. The entrances I measured are about two meters wide. Inside, the main passageway eventually turns and there's usually a depression that holds a water supply. That's something that may help the gators get through a long winter. The floor is just too rugged. The Brady car is stuck. I've got my remote control car about 25 feet into this burrow, and it's down. I'm afraid if I pull the camera wire, only the camera will come out. There's only one thing to do. Once more into the burrow, head first into the alligator's lair. I never like coming to a bend in the tunnel. I got a hard left turn. You never know what's gonna be on the other side. start hearing things. I mean, it is a scary place to be. No, 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 no. There's some, hey, hey, there's something in here. I grab the car and its camera turns to this. Yeah, gator, gator, I got a gator! Somebody's home. I thought this alligator burrow was empty. I came in to get my remote camera vehicle, and I got way more than I bargained for. Right there, it's just sitting there looking at me. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's hissing, we have hissing. That's telling me that the gator is not happy. This is its refuge. Very surprised to see a person in here. As tight a spot as this is for me, it looks like there's plenty of room for more than one gator. If this is a female alligator, she may have her babies in here. The moms take the whole family and they all spend the winter together in the deepest portion of these burrows. We do not want to measure this burrow. 